crowd. We've got a happy contingent of Cavaliers who just welcomed Kevin Love to the celebration, presenting the Eastern Conference Championship trophy for the 2018 season is Larry Nance, three-time All-Star and retired number 22 for the Cavaliers. And he will hand this off to Coach Ty Lu. Ty, congratulations. There have been so many iterations, challenges, obstacles thrown into this team. I mean, a mere three months ago, you're basically with a little bit of a roster overhaul. How is it that you have found your way back to the NBA Finals? I think having a resilient group. We've got a crazy group, but they're resilient. They're tough-minded. They know what it takes. Um, add the new guys here. They really understand what it takes to win now. And um, I'm just happy for the guys who, ex who are experiencing this right now. But first, I want to just give a shout-out to Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> you know that. Mexico, Missouri. Columbia, Missouri. All my people back home. And I want to give a shout-out to my coaching staff. Damon Jones, Larry Drew. Jim Boylan, Mike Longobardi, James Posey, Phil Handy, Vitaly Potapenko, and these guys, every single night, we come in and try to work on ways to win games. And they've been unbelievable for me. They've carried me, and uh, I love these guys. And um, we're going back to v Hoy for four Hoy. straight years. <laughs> Before I let you walk away, I've got to ask you one about LeBron because at the end of the ball game, Jeff and Mark said it might be LeBron's greatest achievement because given the different circumstances, no Kevin Love, how would you describe what he gave you in this series to get you here? I mean, just LeBron being the best player in the world, you know, and um, this whole year he's led by example. You know, we've had a lot of guys in and out. We have new. We had three or four different new rosters. Um, he played all 82 games in his 15th season to lead by example and to show, you know, who he is as a person, his character more importantly, and um, you know, played 48 minutes tonight to bring us home. And he's unbelievable, man. He's the best player in the world. I'm glad he's on my side. And going into a game seven, you want the best player in the world on your side. Congratulations, LeBron. It's a little tired. <laughs> She's saying, do you have to talk again? So, LeBron, we talked a little bit about this out there, but uh, tonight, describe the effort from the men behind you, because as great as you have been, it required some help. So in different moments of this series, what do you remember about what these guys have given you? I think what people don't understand um, people that never played the game of basketball, never played team sports, is that only to succeed, it has to be a team effort. You know, I know I get a lot of the headlines, win, lose, or draw, whatever the case may be, but in order to be successful, it's a team game. I learned that from when I was, when I first started to pick up a basketball to play organized basketball at, at age nine. So you get all the doubters and people who's never stepped in the arena, who's never played basketball, who's never put on a tank top and shorts, um, who's never played anything organized, always want to try to kill my teammates. And it's unfair to them. Um, but I'm always stay true to the game of basketball because the game of basketball always stay true to me. And um, that's why we're going to another finals because my teammates played the hell of the game. Yeah. Yeah. LeBron, I, to a certain extent, it feels like every time you step between the lines, there's a certain referendum on your career, and yet you keep going on and on. You know, what's inspiring you, even though you face obstacles, you'll yeah. face another one in the finals regardless yeah. of who comes out? Listen, at the end of the day, um, the man above has given me a God um, given ability, and I just try to take full advantage of it. Win, lose, or draw, no matter what, at the end of my career, you would never get someone to say that he didn't leave it out on the floor. You know, wins and losses and ties and things, that, that, that happens throughout the course of life. It's just how you pick yourself up. It's how you continue to get better and better. And uh, the difference between me and a lot of other people, um, or a lot of people that's played the game of basketball, they get so in-depth or and so deep about you know, putting everything in the game of basketball. I'm just, I'm true to who I am. I'm true to my family. I'm true to my teammates. I'm true to my craft. And then at the end of the day, whatever happens, happens. So, you know, I could care less about a finals record. I could care less if I don't, you know, play well at this game or, you know, if my teammates don't show up because I know how much I put into the game and nobody can ever take that away from me. Congratulations to the 2018 Eastern Conference champion, Cleveland Cavaliers. It's eight straight for LeBron. Back to Scott Van Pelt.